The Philippine Revolution in the Philippine-American War results to destroyed Arabales outside Manila, which gives the Americans the opportunity to implement their own urban planning techniques. Radial or circumferential pattern of a city was a major plan for Manila, leading to construction of radial and circumferential roads under Burnham Plan. This presentation will discuss and view the major roads and highways of Manila under the American traffic management as part of our history up to their present condition. engineers behind the major road were Florencio Moreno and Osmundo Monsod. In 1950s, the Americans renamed it to Highway 54 because of the common misconception that the avenue stretches to 54 kilometers in length. In 1959, it was officially named EDSA, short for Epifania de los Santos Avenue. Epifania de los Santos was a Rizaleño, jurist, historian, and academic genius. Regal Road 1 or R1 starts at Delpan Bridge in Manila, continues to Bonifacio Drive, Ross Boulevard until it reaches Cavite Expressway. This connects Cavite and Metro Manila. Rojas Boulevard was then called Dewey Boulevard in honor of the American Admiral George Dewey, a U.S. naval commander who defeated the Spanish fleet at the Battle of Manila Bay during the Spanish-American War. The Regal Road 2 or R2 starts at Arroceros in Manila, continues to Taft Avenue and Carina Avenue in Pasay, and connects to Aguinaldo Highway in Cavite. Taft Avenue was named after William Howard Taft, the first American Governor General of the Philippine Islands, while many of the streets in Metro Manila have been baptized with new names. The Rachel Road 5 or R5 starts at Legarda and continues to Ramon Magsaysay Boulevard to V Mapa, Shaw Boulevard in Mandaluyong until it ends at Pasig Boulevard in Pasig. The Rachel Road connects Manila to Pasig City. Shaw Boulevard and the William J. Shaw Theater were named after him. He is an American entrepreneur and philanthropist in the Philippines. The Rachel Road 6 or R6 shared the same starting street in Legarda with Rachel Road 5, but it branches out to Aurora Boulevard which stretches from C3 to C5 where it intersects with Gatipunan and ends at Marcos Highway in Masinag, Antipolo. Aurora Boulevard was then called Highway 55 within westbound route from EDSA to Gilmore Avenue. It was renamed Aurora Boulevard in honor of Aurora Casson, wife of President Manuel Casson. Rachel Road 9 or R9 starts at MacArthur Bridge in Manila and continues to Rizal Avenue from Manila to Caloocan, where it continues to MacArthur Highway in Valenzuela and Bulacan. 
MacArthur Highway was named in honor of Douglas MacArthur, an American five-star general and field marshal of the Philippine Army. It was named Highway 3 and was also called Route 3 in early U.S. military records. It is a major highway in northwestern Luzon, an island in the Philippines. Quezon Boulevard Quezon Boulevard is a short stretch of highway in Manila, Philippines, running north-south through the district of Quiapo. The boulevard is the main access of popular Quiapo Church and is one of the main thoroughfares of the University Belt area. During American period, the new boulevard that replaced Calle Concepcion was named after Commonwealth President Manuel Luis Quezon. Ayala Avenue Ayala Avenue is a major thoroughfare in Makati, Philippines. It is one of the busiest roads in Metro Manila, crossing through the heart of Makati's Central Business District. Because of the many businesses located in the avenue, Ayala Avenue is aptly nicknamed the Wall Street of the Philippines. It is also a major link between Epifanio de los Santos Avenue or EDSA to Metropolitan Avenue. Santa Cruz Bridge or MacArthur Bridge This bridge was began December 1900s. The steel for the work arrived on time in March 1901. But the contractors for the masonry had not set a stone in the piers or abutments. The work was then taken from them and carried on by hard labor. The work continued to the following year and the Santa Cruz Bridge was completed and officially opened on March 1, 1902. The bridge was constructed after the war and opened in 1952. This bridge was named the honor of the World War II American General Douglas MacArthur who authored the famous line, I shall return. MacArthur Bridge is a road bridge crossing the Pasig River between Padre Burgos Avenue in Ermita and Carlos Palanca Street in Santa Cruz. Otis Bridge Otis Bridge is the main roadway connecting Paz Mendoza Guasan Street, formerly known as Otis Street, to UN Avenue leading to the port of Manila. From the previous four, the bridge is now wider with a total of six lanes open. The two additional lanes will help ease the traffic flow in nearby roads such as the Osmeña Highway, Carino, and United Nations Avenue. It was named after General Elwell Otis was named the commander of American ground forces in the Philippines, which was to extend by force American sovereignty over this country. Jones Bridge that spans Pasig River connecting the Manila area of Pinondo on Rosario Street with the center of city in Ermita. This bridge in Manila was named after William Atkinson Jones, the principal author of the Philippine Autonomy Act of 1916. It was designed by architect Juan M. Arellano. The bridge was reconstructed after World War II but is now bare in design. The American period caused a great impact to our traffic roads and highways. They applied their own techniques and strategies to make our land travel convenient and accessible. They insert a lot of effort plotting the future of our country and traffic roads. Highways are not the only thing that they made convenient for us. They insert effort also in other aspects of our country like education, politics, and etc. These traffic roads and highways made a lot of impact in terms of convenience of today and in the future.